Hello everyone, so we will continue over the data engineering playlist. So we are trying to cover all the interview related questions which is generally asked in a data engineering role. So we are started with the SQL question. So in this particular video, some of the SQL question which is generally asked in a data engineer role that actually we are going to cover. So our first question is like how actually you can create a table with the same schema. So our requirement is like suppose you have one table, table name is employee. Now what actually you have to do, you have to create a same schema with another table name. Okay. So for example, suppose I have one table that is a employee table. If I will execute, I am I I have ID name, salary and the country and also uh, the data also present like the ID 1, 2, 3, 4 and all. Now when I am saying the schema we have to create with the another table. So what actually we have to do? We have to create a, another table employee 2 and with the schema of the ID name, salary and country similar to the employee table. How actually we can do? So for that we have syntax select star into okay employee 2 this is the one i am trying to create okay from employee okay where 1 equal to the 2 what actually i am doing i am creating a new table employee 2 with the schema of the id name salary country from the employee table where 1 equal to the 2 if i will do this okay now if i will try to execute select star from employee 2 right what I will get? I will get uh, the new table got created with the ID name, salary and the country. Okay, I hope you got it how actually we do. Okay, so that is how actually we can create a same schema uh, from the another table. Okay, now we have another requirement is like copy data with the same table structure and the schema. Okay, now what is our requirement? Second requirement is right. Suppose I have one table. Okay, this is my table. Okay. Now uh, my requirement is like with the schema and the same data I want to create a new table. With the same schema with the same data I want to create a new table how actually we can do it. Okay our table name will be the employee 3 how actually we can do. So for that we have to write select star into employee 3. Okay this is the table actually I am creating from employee. From employee. Okay where 1 equal to the 1 1 equal to 1 I am doing so with the data also it will get copied if I will do 1 equal to 2 only the schema will get copied ok now if I will try to execute the 4 rows got affected now if I will try to show you select star from employee 3 right and now if I will try to execute you will get to see uh, the employee 3 with the same schema and the same data similar to the employee we have created so that is how actually we can do it i hope you got it okay now let us try to move to the third question okay what is the difference between union and union all so this is the most common question which is generally asked in an interview so what is the union and union all let us try to understand suppose you have two tables suppose this is my table one and suppose this is a table two okay so with the help of union actually you can combine the data okay so whenever we perform a union and union all the whatever the column right from the both the table it should be same okay now suppose uh, if i am doing union so first let us try to understand union all suppose let we are doing a union all in this two table okay so what i will get id name this is the column we have if i will perform a union all so what actually i will happen id one two we will get right and from here id 1 and 3 the row by row row by row actually you will get the data okay this will be the output when you will perform the union all okay so this will be the output you will get when you will perform a union all i hope you got it okay so in union all what actually happen in a row by row actually you will try to combine both the table okay now let's do the same thing with the help of the union but when you will do a union right what actually will happen we will so when you will perform a union and union all the same kind of the column should be present okay schema should be same okay that is the first requirement now when you will do a union okay when you will do a union right what will be our output so one two now if you will combine right so here also if you will see in the second table also id one and a is present means so this is the duplicate record so in case of the union it will remove the duplicate and this will be the output you will get okay 
so one a this is the duplicate record it which is present in both the tail so while doing a union it will remove the duplicate so that is the difference between the union all and union in the case of the union all it will show all the record but in the case of union it will remove the duplicate i hope you got it now if we we'll talk about the syntax so what is the syntax we perform so select star select uh, suppose id column we have from table 1 from table 1 okay and after that we have to perform union select suppose id also there in table 2 2 okay so this is the syntax for the to perform the union okay now if you want to do a union all so instead of union you have to write the union all here we are doing a whatever the column you want to combine so for that column we have to mention i hope you got it in case of the union it will remove the duplicate but in union all, all the records will be shown okay i hope you got it now let me try to show you the next question what is the drop versus truncate so this is also question which is generally asked okay so suppose uh, this is my table right select star from employee 3 okay so this is the table i have okay now when we perform a uh, drop right when we perform a drop versus truncate we are doing seeing right when we perform a drop so what will happen entire table will get deleted with the schema and the data also but when you will perform a truncate right only the data will be deleted the schema will be present so suppose first i will perform a truncate truncate table and the empl uh, employee 3 table name right if i will do all the schema will be deleted sorry all the uh, data will be deleted but the schema will present if i will do select star from employee 3 right still i have a schema present okay but the in the uh, now if i will try to so i have also have an employee 2 table right now we'll perform a drop now let's perform a drop drop table employee 2 okay now if i will try to drop this table employee 2 table now if i will do a select star from employee 2 what will happen entire table will get deleted even the schema and the data also so that is the difference in the case of the drop entire data and the schema will be get deleted but in the case of the truncate only the uh, data will be deleted now generally people also ask about the delete also so in the case of delete what actually happen so suppose you have a specific row if you want to delete so with the help of the delete and the where condition we generally try to del delete the specific row so that is the use case of the delete so drop entire table will get deleted truncate only the data will be deleted delete from for a specific row you want to delete so we will perform a delete operation i hope you got it now let's move to the next question what is the intersect in a sql so in a intersect in the sql what actually happen suppose you have this two table right 1 2 ab and 1 3 ac okay now if you will perform a intersect in this two table right so what will happen only the common record which is present in the both the table that only you will get it like if you will see id one is present in both the table right so when you will perform a intersect so only the common records which is present in both the table that you will get so that is the use case of the intersect i hope you got it now next question is like how actually you can find out the find odd rows from a table okay so let me show you how actually we can do that odd rows find out okay suppose i have one table select star from employee i will do okay now my requirement is like uh, we have 1 2 3 4 id right now i want only the odd number of rows how actually we can find out so uh, what i will do select star from employee i want only the odd number of ids so what we have to do where mod id 2 okay is not equal to the zero if i will do this let's see whether it's working or not okay so uh, the another thing you can do is id percent 2 is not equal to the 0 if i will do this okay you will get only 1 and 3 records so that is how actually you can perform if you want to find out the even numbers of row so id percent 2 equal to the 0 if you will do you will get only the even number of rows 
2 and 4 okay so that is how actually we can use it I hope you got it now our next question is like how to find the unique record from a table so suppose you have a table now if you want to find out the unique records unique records so how actually you can uh, find out the unique records from table so with the help of the distinct we can use it so what will the syntax select distinct suppose uh, uh, distinct name you want to find out so we have to write select distinct name from employee table if you will do only the distinct employee you will get it you can see I am Manish Rahul Raju so that is how only the we can use a unique record okay I hope you got it yeah that's it in this video thank you